Alright, hello all you people out there, this is Michael of Two and a Half Student, and welcome to Portal! Alright, so, I've been saying alright a lot lately. Anyway, we're going to be jumping into here, uh, we're going to start with Test Chamber 00, and start a new game. Alright, so this is, I said it again, this is going to be the next game I'm playing for YouTube, I hope fairly obviously. Uh, it's not a long game, I'm just going to probably be using it, um, I think to uh, fill space between... Uh, what's it called? The two games I just finished playing, X and uh, 3D Land and Alpha Sapphire, whenever that comes out. So, we can move around. This is a radio. This doesn't play any music as far as I can hear. Uh, so we can go and dump that in the toilet. What was that? Okay. Relaxation, huh? And we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, serious injuries may occur. For your own safety and the safety of others, please refrain from the back. The portal will open in three, two, one. Anyway, uh, we're not done messing with these things, so we're just going to, I think, go and uh, drop this on the toilet as well. Yeah. Kelly played Portal a little while ago, and that was, uh, she spent about 10, 15 minutes doing that. Anyway, walk through here. I kind of forgot to point out the pearl that we saw earlier, but whatever. Uh, we're going to pick this block up, put it on this button. Alright. Excellent. Excellent. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. Certainly. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage. Fantastic. Tube. Anyway. Let's see, so I suppose um, I should point out sooner or later, the gimmick of this game is the portal system. You can see uh, I just was in there, and now we need to uh, wait for the portal to return to over here so I can get out. Uh, that could take a few minutes. Let's see. Alright, there's that. We need to be in there, so we're just going to watch this portal until, um, until it shows us the room that goes in there with the block, whatever the weighted storage cube you said it was. Alright, can we go through please? Thank you very much. Uh, I've had it happen before where the portal closes when I'm halfway through it and it still it traps the block on one side and me on the other and that's not fun. So, let's see, I think I can get there. Oh, come on, you suck. Shut up, GLaDOS. Anyway, oops, did I spoil your name? Anyway. Have I, did I used to say anyway as much in future, past, whatever videos and stuff like that? I don't even know. Anyway, incandescent particle fields. Fantastic. Let's see. That looks kind of cool up there. I don't know if that's a graphical glitch or if that was uh, supposed to be like that. Anyway. See, I'm not exactly sure how long I'll be, uh... How many videos this playthrough is going to be. But I'm going to try and split it up so that, um... Let's see. That's a thing down there. Wonderful. Yeah, that doesn't sound very good. Uh, what was I saying? I'm not completely sure how long uh, this playthrough is going to run. I'm going to guess about um, 8 to 10 videos. I'm gonna try and have it finished by the time May or Ruby and Alpha Sapphire come out, but if I've already played that game on YouTube, uh, then something will have happened, and let's see, I need to get up there. And, um, by the way, you can do this. That's, uh, that's wonderful. Yeah, if Gladys would shut up, I would, uh, I'll be able to focus on what I was just saying before. But yeah, there's a chance I might decide to not upload this until, like, 2015 or something like that. Uh, depending on how the video schedules work out. I think it should work out the way I'm not planning it to, but... Let's see, we now have a portal gun. Can shoot that at, uh, some of these non-cementish walls, but it won't do very much. Uh, let's see... Yeah, there's no portal there, so, uh, there we go. Now, to get over there, we are going to have to shoot that down. And, let's see, walk over here, because that is a part of us over there. 
Want to destroy vital testing apparatus. Uh, to get over to this side, we can go into the portal here. Wonderful. Remember, the aperture science bring your daughter to work day is the perfect time to have her test. Oh, really? So that's that. We're making good progress, I think. Uh, I played this game not recently uh, to be my so-and-so practice run, but uh, I want to say like two weeks ago whenever I got it. Yeah, this and two on, a, on a, both parts of a Steam sale. Oh, awesome. And that happened to include um, both portal games. And uh, it was pretty good. Watch out for them Steam sales. Those are... Uh, they do their job. Let's see. No, 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 no. You will stay there. And there's nothing else I gotta do in this room, right? I don't think so. Hello, you up there. Uh, the empty, I guess, office or something like that. Let's see, next chamber. I see from uh, OBS, which I'm using to record this, that I'm uh, about seven minutes into this recording, a little bit less than that. I use OBS to record uh, most PC videos nowadays instead of Bandicam because um, it can it, it gives me more uh, it's easier to only record the game audio with it which I like because let's see I heard a doorbell ring alright sorry about that there was a delivery guy and then uh, the doorbell kind of broke somehow uh, however that ended up happening and it set the dog off so that's fun so where do I have to go now? Um, let's see. I'm going to want to go and uh, dump that over there, aren't I? And then, uh, let's see. I'm down here. And I'm pretty sure there are more than one ways to solve these puzzles, and I'm just going to be doing one of them here. Let's see, that's the second cube, and we can move onwards. Fantastic. Here's another radio. As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Thanks, GLaDOS. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two, one. That sounds encouraging, doesn't it? Anyhow, uh, let's see, next chamber, isn't it? What number is this? Is this like four or something? They do get a lot longer than this. There's 19 in total. I think there's a total of about three, three and a half, four hours of gameplay somewhere in that range. Uh, it took me a little more than four hours because I'm, um, let's just say, not good at this. But I do remember most of these puzzles. Oh, cool. So, let's see. That is a, a beam of light sort of thing that will zap you if you uh, get hit by it, but uh, you can use it to activate switches. What was I saying about puzzles? Yeah, they're not my thing, but I like portal anyway. It's, um, it's got a little bunch of decent humor in it, GLaDOS. I, I don't know if the computer's name has been said in the game yet, but I'm just going to say it right here, GLaDOS. Uh, let's see. I'm not too crazy about the environment in this game, but... Um, Warning devices are required on all um, local equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to Wonderful. agitate the high energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. Good. Now use the aperture science on stationary scaffold to reach the chamber lock. Here, wait for this to appear. Yeah, the one thing about, uh... Oh, look, there's me. The one thing about glass is talking. Um, is that it kind of does distract me from the commentary that I'm trying to say. Because most of it is pretty funny and I do want to uh, shut up over it, so whoop, I almost missed. And that would have been uh, an issue. It is possible to die here to get stuck uh, between the platform and that, uh, whatever that is over there. So try to avoid that. Anyhow, which chamber is this again? I think I say that like every chamber. Seven, I saw seven over there. There's seven already? I thought this was only like five. All right. Uh, I want to say around 10, they start to get more complicated, but that's all up for you to uh, up for you to decide how hard something is. I mean, I think the speedrunners can do this game in like an hour and a half, which is uh, slight faster than me, I must say. Now, what am I doing here? Know that we have added a consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record. Glad to hear it. Good luck. Thanks. 
Anyhow, uh, let's see, is this gonna make it? No? So, um, we can set up another portal over there. And, see, that looks like where it wants to go. That can hit it? That's gonna hit it. Alright, wonderful. And, I think I mentioned this before, but if you do get hit by that, um, zappy thing, you will die, as GLaDOS implied. So try to not get hit by the zappy thing, because, yeah, yeah, death is not something you really want to do. Oh, hey, it's the back of my head. Uh, let's see, the protagonist in this game, the playable character, at any rate, uh, for those of you who don't know, is female, which I think is an interesting design choice by the, um, the designers. I guess I could get into that later, for while I'm waiting for this to, uh, to move over. Um, I don't know, I have to wonder why they decided to make, uh, the character, or her name is Chell. Uh, female. Because they could have very easily gone with a generic, like, bodybuilder type guy, or if they really wanted a female, like, a, someone in a bathing suit or whatever. But, they didn't. She actually looks like a normal person if you get to, uh, look at her. If you were, say, arrange the portals in a way that you can see the front of her face or something. Which is, uh, interesting. I'll try and do that. I think, uh, I need another piece of the portal gun in order to do that, though. Let's see. I want to go up there. I also want to go back there. So let's go and, uh, shoot that over there. Pick this up. And we are now up here. Um, let's see. Wonderful. Can I see, uh... I should be able to do something along the lines of... Oh, hey, there's a thing. Um, I can't pick up that radio, though, I don't think. But the other portal has opened up over there inside of this room, and okay, we can do that. Wonderful. It's not too bad. I think this room isn't over yet. Oh, it is. Okay. Who knew? Let's see. We're gonna be moving on. And uh, <clears throat> all right. We shaking. It's a very uh, it's a very good sign. Elevator shaking. <laughs> 